Hi, my name is Daniel of progressbaranalytics.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a visualization in Power BI called Timeline Storytelling. And this story is called Running Beyond Survival, A Survivor's Journey Through Running. I started off my running journey over here in 2011. I had a couple 5Ks and then I had some half marathons before trying out marathons. And it's hard to tell uh, what the big picture is or how the progression goes from the timeline. So I wanted to take you through a step-by-step -step using the timeline story tools. In the radial view of 2011, you can see that I did two 5Ks. The first one was the 5K uh, during LA Marathon weekend at Dodger Stadium. At my 5K, I ran a mile and a half before I ended up uh, dry heaving in the bushes. It was a sobering experience, but I persisted. And the next month, I did a, another 5K at Loma Linda University Medical Center uh, for an event called Possibilities. And this event had a sponsored a lot of uh, disabled athletes. And this is, uh, for me, this was pretty uh, inspiring because uh, here I was feeling pretty sorry for myself that I had to dry heave in the bushes, uh, being overweight and having... Um, you know, a lot of uh, health issues in my history, but these guys were getting it done desp uh, despite their challenges, and they showed me the determination that it took to continue on. In 2012, I participated in my first half marathon at the Disney Tinker Tinkerbell Half. My coworker Tracy uh, convinced me to do this race, and I did it with a group of my coworkers, finishing uh, with a time of uh, 161 minutes with an average of 12 minutes per mile. Uh, this probably doesn't tell the whole story, but I really gave my all to finish this race. And after I finished this race, I was absolutely certain that I would never ever attempt to go any further in the world of distance racing because doing this half marathon was very painful. I hurt for a solid month after that and I didn't participate in any running events until October. But also, I had the first surgery of my life to remove testicular cancer in April of 2012. That was a pretty scary time in my life and a start of a lot of dramatic events that I won't cover in detail over here. But uh, in October of that year, I recovered enough to do a 5K at Chapman University. Thinking back upon it, I probably ran so fast because I had a lot of issues to work through. But also, after uh, having experienced a half marathon distance of 5K, uh, duration worth of effort was not so bad. In January 2013, I did the Disney Tinkerbell Half Marathon with an average of 13 minutes per mile and a finish time of uh, 165 minutes, just about the same as before. I finished this marathon and then about a week later I got the call from my doctor who told me that uh, cancer had returned to my body. I was uh, taken by surprise, to say the least. I was planning to do the LA Marathon in March of this year, but uh, that plan went out the window. My friend Shingo, who signed up with me, had to do this race alone, uh, so I spectated uh, the race with his wife and my friend. Here I am. Nice and bald right here.
then uh, I spent the rest of that year recovering and recuperating and rebuilding from zero. After uh, chemotherapy raged through my body, I had to start my strength journey all over again. Uh, so March 2014 was my survivor's bucket list marathon at the LA Marathon. My sister did it with me, and so did Shinga. He did uh, another marathon uh, in honor of my survival. Pretty nice. I finished with uh, <laughs> a time of 357 minutes. So for the first three hours, I was fine. And then uh, I ran out of gas, and I had to run with my metal fortitude for another hour. And then uh, for the remainder of the time, I was whining and crying whining and crying, never again. Uh, but I finished it uh, with uh, all the grit that I could muster. That was pretty nice. In February of 2015, I wanted to redeem myself at the Surf City Marathon. And uh, I did this because I had some regrets about doing my first marathon, finishing it while whining and crying about uh, never again and uh, how could I do this to myself. So I wanted to redeem myself, but my legs locked up completely at mile 16. I was fine for 16 miles. I felt wonderful. And then everything went to crap. So for the last 10 miles, I had to hobble. In pain, because both my legs were, were locked up. I looked like a zombie. And this race took me 407 minutes. To give you some perspective, I finished nearly last out of <laughs> all participating marathon runners. And second to last out of my age group. I seriously didn't know that there was anybody behind me. But, uh... It gave me that uh, important evidence, right? Everybody has that thought in their mind that when things get tough, that they can tough it out. I have the evidence. I learned a lot about myself that day. Uh, least of which was that, you know, the finishing last worry, actually not that big of a deal. This actually served as a very important experience for myself. So this is my second marathon overall. And uh, yet again, uh, so I, I persisted for, for the last 10 miles, but also I ended up uh, whining and crying again. That was, uh, that was just the truth of it. I mean, that there's no way to avoid it when you're in pain. In... May, I did the Beach Cities series, race two of three, with Eileen, who graciously waited for me to finish this seven-hour grueling affair. She only does uh, half marathons and uh, waited for me for a few, oh, well, like four hours to finish this thing. And uh, this was pretty nice. Uh, after I did uh, this 400 minutes of effort, 160-ish is not a big deal. And also, uh, my sister came out to support me for this race, and I met uh, Mallory and Ruby over here. I knew them as uh, my sister's marathon friends before I knew them as the tribe. The Long Beach Half Marathon was my fourth half marathon overall, and uh, my ninth running event overall. I finished this with a similar time to uh, everything before finishing in about 100, uh, 160-ish minutes. Uh, and by this point, I realized I could comfortably do a non-competitive half, half marathon. You know, just sign up for a half marathon whenever. I got this medal as a completion thing for doing a series of races which was something I hadn't considered possible back in 2011. At the end of 2015, I did the Disney Avengers Half Marathon, 
And this is where my sister introduced me to Pete, who was running on behalf of his sister with cervical cancer. Ruby, who you saw in the previous slide. Here's Pete, and this is RP Fitstrong. The tribe was uh, doing a lot to support their sister who got sick. I ran this race with them. Uh, Pete took off with this poster over his head, and I caught up with him about a few miles before the finish line. He got injured. His knee had uh, given out. And uh, I asked him if he would let me carry the poster to the finish line. When he trusted this poster with me, I felt all the fatigue leave my body. I ran with a poster over my head, and I finished my fastest race ever. <laughs> Fully two minutes faster than I ever finished a half marathon with a finish time 20 minutes faster than I have ever finished before. This was my first race with the tribe and my fastest race overall up to till this point. So this is the first four years of my journey. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. First five years of my journey into distance racing. Thank you for listening.